Have you ever wondered what potential energy and kinetic energy are? This video is a part of Nutspace's My Sunday Science Lab, a class being conducted by the amazing people at CurioBox. Do watch the video till the end to get a free downloadable PDF on how to make your own powerful ball bouncer. So let me tell you a story before I really get into the science. Once upon a time in a forest, there lived a family of pigs. There was Mama Pig and her three sons. One day Mama Pig went to the three children and she said, Piglets, you have now become big grown-up pigs and it's time for you all to go out in the forest and build yourselves your own homes. So tomorrow I'm packing some food for you and you better leave on time. Now the pigs got very excited because going out into the forest meant adventure. But the oldest of the three pigs got a little worried and concerned. So in the evening, he went to his mother and said, uh, Mama Pig, I'm very excited to go out into the forest. But I'm really concerned about my two younger brothers. You know how lazy they are. Then Mama Pig smiled and said, That's all right. Your concern is understandable, but it's okay. I know that you are a very active pig. You are kinetic by nature and your two brothers are very lazy and they don't like to move. But you know what? I think they have the potential to move. I know that when they see you moving, they'll definitely get encouraged to build themselves a house. The oldest pig smiled and said goodnight to his mummy. And the next day, the three brothers set out in the forest. Now, the oldest pig was absolutely right. Because the moment he got inside the forest, he started looking around for material to build a home. And he found strong bricks, cement, wood, iron bars and all that is needed to build a nice big strong house. But his two younger brothers... All they did was sit around and eat the food that Mama Pig had packed. And by sitting around and just eating, the two pigs grew big, large paunches. And one day, Mama Pig came into the forest to see the progress of her three sons. And she was so pleased to see the eldest pig's lovely house, strong and beautiful. She was so proud of him. But when she saw her two sons, the two younger sons, just sitting there and not moving, she was truly disappointed. She went to them and she said, I always knew that the big pig was a kinetic one in nature. He is the mover of the three of you. And I knew that he will do well. And I knew that you two are very lazy. But I always also deep down in my heart knew that you two had the potential to become kinetic. I thought that your brother's actions will inspire you to get up and get moving. Saying that, Mama Pig left sadly from the forest. But her words they deeply affected the two lazy brothers. And at once they got up and they started moving. And within a few hours they had collected material and across the next two or three days they too built themselves beautiful homes. Their eldest brother was so happy and he smiled at them and said, Mama was right all along. She was right that you may just be lazy and not move, but you had the potential within you. And after all, she and I inspired you to get kinetic. So why did I tell you the story? Well, I shared the story to explain to you that all objects have potential energy. And when they start moving, then that potential energy transforms into kinetic energy. Just like in the story, when the two lazy brothers were not moving, they still had the potential energy. And when they got motivated by their brother and they finally started moving, 
their potential energy transformed into kinetic energy so as you heard in the story every object has a potential energy the potential energy of every object is the energy the object has because of its position relative to some other object let's take this ball for example if i hold the ball closer to the floor and drop it the gravitational force that acts on it is less and the ball falls slowly on the ground and therefore bounces less now if i drop the ball from here slightly high up the gap between the ball and the ground is much more now the gravitational force will be higher making the ball go down faster as it touches the ground another thing to remember is that when the ball is in motion while it is in motion it is said to have kinetic energy which means that once you leave the ball from your hand the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy kinetic energy is the energy possessed by every object in motion now let's take a look at the powerful ball bouncer yes the same one that we created last week here it is since rubber bands are elastic they are said to have elastic potential energy now if we pull the rubber band a little potential energy will increase and if we pull it more the potential energy will increase further when we release the string the potential energy of the rubber band will convert into kinetic energy till the time it goes up and becomes still and then when it becomes still the kinetic energy will again become potential energy therefore we must remember that energy cannot be created or destroyed it can be transformed from one form to another but the total amount of energy never changes this is known as the law of conservation of energy the kinetic energy of the rubber band also gets transferred to the ball converting the potential energy of the ball to kinetic energy as the ball pops out of the bouncer the harder you pull the rubber band the greater potential energy the band has and then it converts to kinetic energy when released and transfers the same to the ball hence the ball will go higher and further when you stretch the band more This is the powerful ball bouncer that I was talking about in the video. If you liked it, then you too can make it. All you need to do is download the instructions from the link below. This is how it works. Whoops, that's a lot of fun. If you liked the video, then don't forget to push the like button, don't forget to share the video, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Bye-bye. Thank you.